So sometimes you'll find a reaction where you only have one reactant, or maybe it's only one product. And so what that means is that a redox reaction has the same thing being both oxidized and reduced. So how do you balance a redox reaction which elements in the same molecule are both oxidized and reduced? So here's an example. Basically, if you have um, NO2 here is the only reactant. So that means that it's a reactant in both half reactions. Okay, and then we balance the reaction the way that we normally would. So um, just for practice, you can watch me do that. Um, here our ends are balanced, so we will balance our uh, oxygens with water and our hydrogens with protons. And then our charge on the reactant side is neutral and on the product side is plus one, so we'll add an electron. Then if we go over to our other half reaction, we've got NO2 goes to NO2 minus. Atoms are balanced. We only need to balance the charges, so we'll add an electron. Finally, if we add these reactions together, we'll get uh, two NO2s plus water becomes NO3 minus plus NO2 minus plus two protons. Now, because this is under basic conditions, we will uh, cancel out our protons by adding two OH minuses to each side. And then these H pluses and OH minuses will become two waters. Okay, so we'll cancel those out on both sides. And then, we, so we get two NO2s because one is the oxidation half reaction and one is the reduction half reaction. Two NO2s plus two OHs, because we're under basic conditions, produce both nitrate and nitrite and a molecule of water. Okay, so now our reaction is balanced under basic conditions and we have NO2 is being both oxidized and reduced. Fun fact, this is called disproportionation.